it takes a long time to get over a death of a parent, somebody you've known all your life, it's hard to let go. You may want to have one of your mother's friends, uh, your mother's sister or brother, an aunt or an uncle, um, somebody at church or the same age or um, in some uh, other group that you may join, a uh, garden club or a rotary or something like that, uh, to have some relationship with uh, a person who is about your mother's age to do things with and to talk about different things. I had a patient that uh, died of lung cancer and heart disease. Um, the patient's daughter became very active in the American Cancer Society, also did a lot of volunteer work uh, for the American Heart Association. Um, they have a local heart ball. They have all sorts of fundraising activities, and she um, helped these agencies very much. Uh, I think it gives you the feeling that you're um, doing something positive, you're making a difference in somebody's life. Um, it may not be an immediate relative, but it would be a person that's had uh, a similar situation. Uh, go to the park, go to a movie, um, keeping the uh, adult child uh, busy in his, his or her free time would help a great deal and also be available for any discussion or talks. They may feel uh, guilt, rejection. Um, they may feel severe depression. Uh, all of these things are natural feelings. Um, and they need to um, socialize with a, uh, an adult uh, person similar in age and background to the uh, lost parent and hopefully this will help uh, these types of reactions. Um, they need to try and think about the future and remember all the good times and all the good things about your, your parent and what they did for you throughout your whole life.